guys, my name is Jessica, I'm from Green Fever SA and welcome back to another Planty video. If you enjoy plants and plant videos and plant content then please do consider hitting the subscribe button if you haven't already or hitting the like button if you do enjoy this video at the end of it. Today what we're going to be doing is converting my philodendron painted lady into lecker but unfortunately quite a lot goes wrong. And so I end up having to deal with root rot first before I can then convert it to lecker. So it's quite a, a, an interesting video in terms of, um, you know, a conversion that has gone a little bit wrong um, and so how I dealt with it. Um, unfortunately, you know, plants aren't always so straightforward. Actually, they are never straightforward. And so I think it's quite interesting just to go along with me. I'm going to apologize now because there are two issues in terms of... <laughs> Uh, because this video was filmed over a two and a half month period, I go through three different hairstyles. And then I'm also going through two different cameras. So if the sound is quite different, as well as uh, the angles and the quality and where I keep looking, there is a different, uh, yeah, it's just I'm getting used to having a new camera, but you'll see I'll go through the two. Or hopefully you won't notice the two difference. So, this has been a little bit of a, a downward spiral for me. I got this as a gift from my sister, and so I really don't want to lose this plant. But I was really struggling to water it, so I repotted it and divided it and gave it a moss pole. And then since then, it's kind of just gone downhill between overwatering and then underwatering and then overwatering again. And for some reason, I just can't get it right with this plant. The whole reason I'm going to be moving it to Lekka is because it needs to take all of the guesswork out in terms of watering. This is not going to be a video on how to transplant or how to move uh, a plant into Lekka. It's more about how well this plant adjusts and hopefully grows in Lekka. And it's sort of just taking you <laughs> along with me. So I'm going to get started. Given this plant root shots. Fucker. So, as you can see here, I have definitely given this plant root rots. This had an extensive root system when I first repotted it. It does look like it's starting to grow some of its roots back. That's probably why I was struggling with the watering and it's obviously the infrequent watering is probably what has done this. I probably went from not watering it enough to over watering it and that's what you know gave it too much of a shock. So as you can see though where these new little pink ends are we are starting to get a little bit of new growth again. This plant was going to bounce back if I'd kept up with what I was probably doing. But I do still think that it is probably going to be happier in liquor. So I'm going to rinse all this off. See what is rotted still and then cut that off. And you can see here where obviously it's had rotted off. With your eyes closed, landing slowly. We used to be the coolest damn kids on the street. You would be, we could kick it all weekend. Maybe no sleep. So, I'm super glad that I pulled that out, and I'm also really embarrassed that I'd given this poor plant such bad, bad root rot. This one over here, um, as you can see, some new, like new growth was at least starting. I think this one will be fun, it'll make it. This one I have high hopes for. This one we almost completely destroyed um it has like two new little root sections coming in and so hopefully we can come right with this as well and it's a really good job that i had pulled it out reason being is that this plant when i first repotted it had an extensive root system huge to the point where it filled you know it really did fill out this whole pot 
I'm glad that I pulled it out because what would have kept happening is I would have kept assuming um, that the root system was substantial and I probably would have kept watering it as if you know there was a lot more roots and I probably would have ended up just giving these new roots root rot again okay so we are now a month later I think it's actually a month and a week later and the progress with the painted lady is not going very well well it is now but what I decided to do I decided to put it in sphagnum um, in a net pot and then put it inside of my humidity box and since then it has actually done a lot better it's pushed out this very small little leaf over here and it has now pushed out this big leaf and uh, he's a bit odd shaped looking he doesn't really have the beautiful painted look but it's fine so today what I want to do is I just want to check oh and then this one which was the second one has also pushed out a tiny little leaf I cut the two bottoms off of each one and decided that I wanted four chances to propagate instead of the two because I was really worried about losing some of it because I put it under a lot of stress as you can see over here a new little uh, node is coming over there as well as on this side this one I can't really see too much happening just yet so this guy I'm just gonna pop him back into the prop box I'm not gonna touch it this guy I am going to pull out just to have a look at what's going on and then I'm going to decide what to do with it after that okay well this is actually looking uh, really good I mean we could tell obviously it was doing better because it had started pushing out some new growth this little root was quite short over here so this one over here is still um, not doing the best but it is growing so we will probably leave it in the sphagnum for another another week or two and then I might convert it to liquor I just wanted to get a bit of a bit more of a root system um, so yeah this one also the roots are looking much healthier and it is growing uh, so I don't want to change the situation that it's in too much I just wanted to have a look and see what was going on so I'm going to be putting this back into the sphagnum I'm actually just gonna put it in a bigger pot because he was quite wonky in that smaller pot and it was just hopefully in a few weeks time I can convert this to Lekka and then yeah see how it goes so I do think it is on the mend it's just a lot longer of a process than it should have been and that was, you know, my own mistake. I we are, I can't remember exactly, I think it's probably like three weeks later. I'm quite excited to see how this root system has gone. Let's see, I'm going to open the prop box up. I'm going to show you guys quickly just where she was sitting. So there she is sitting over here. And looking quite happy with life. Um, so yeah, I'm basically going to be taking her out. Taking her out of the bag and then converting her to liquor. But as you can see, she has so many new leaves. So she's really, really doing well. We've even got leaves, I can't even think, growing down at the bottom inside. So yeah, I think since the last video that I've shown you guys, we probably have about at least six leaves. So that's pretty impressive and all I've basically done is just left her in spag in the prop box. So let's have a look at how these roots <laughs> are faring. Oh, okay. These roots are doing incredibly well. Just from the clear plastic, hence why I enjoy the clear plastic so much, 
you can just see loads and loads of roots. So this is doing super well. This is gonna be interesting. Be pictures of your boobs on my phone. Hickeys on your neck, scratches on my chest. Baby, you the best, and I can fuck with you for real though. Every time I see you, girl, I feel so amazing. It's crazy how the world can make two so so similar. Don't you think this shit is just crazy? It's kinda like a mirror when I'm looking in your face. Like I know you so long, now we the same. While I rap, you sing the hook. While I'm working on the book, you out to scripting up the movie. Girl, you got me shook. Damn, you could look like the sun. A large amount of this bag off i haven't taken a lot though i sped that up for you guys but that took me a while to do it's not a quick process you really do have to be super careful when doing this because you can quite easily rip the roots off thinking that they are part of this bag now. so this was the main two that i cut and look how happy their root systems are. So I feel really confident that these guys are going to do really, really well in Lekka. I have no doubt that these plants are going to keep happily growing. And then, so these were the bottoms of each. And they also have established some really nice root systems. And I'm probably going to, oh, you see, I put this one up like this in this bag, but I'm thinking I'm up be better if it actually grows like that yes, but look how cute this little leaf is i'm very chuffed he's even got a new little growth point growing right over there and i have all of my pre-washed liquor and i'm basically just going to pop it in this closed, slowly on your skin basically done popping him in the liquor. I'm going to pop this in the prop box and I'll give it some nutrient water. But this is my painted lady that is doing beautifully after I gave it rather serious root rot. A prop box and spag for root rot are the answer. From the last video that you little clip that you guys saw it was living in my humidity box it stayed in there for a week in the lecker and I have now moved it out of the humidity box and it is still in obviously the lecker it is just um, acclimatizing I like to acclimatize things a little bit slower so he still has the grow they have the grow light above it I have the humidifier that's normally running it's just off at the moment and yeah she is doing really well she is growing a new leaf she's actually growing quite a few leaves there's another one over there um and the little babies inside are also doing really well and so i would like to say that this is a success and my painted lady is going to be moving into the kitchen probably in a week or so i'll give it a little bit longer here just because i don't want it to struggle at all <laughs> so there we go look how good she looks from the three leaf plant that we started with. Thank you guys for watching. I hope that you learned something and maybe you won't make some of the mistakes that I did. I'm so glad and so happy that my painted lady has come back. It is looking gorgeous. Glad I, I took you guys along on the journey with me. I'm so grateful and so thankful that you guys have watched. So if you still are watching, please do consider hitting the subscribe button if you haven't, as well as giving this video a like and leaving a comment below. I would love to hear your thoughts on uh, the video and what happened with my painted lady. So thank you very much for watching and I will hopefully see you next time.